Lucas Media. So David Benavidez spoke about who he wants to fight next after his victory over Alexander Vostik for the WBC interim lightweight champion. Again, it's interim, so I don't know. I mean, y'all know how about boxing is just too many belts, too many titles, you know, Juneteenth belt, McDonald's belt, Super belt, Mario belt. But David Benavidez said that what he had moving forward as far as his plan, he said, quote, I'm so happy for this moment. About a month ago, I had a torn ligament here in my hand. It was injured and I got cut on my eyes, but I said, F it. I'm going to keep pushing, though, through. I can't cancel this event. That's the reason I wasn't throwing so much in this fight, because my hand is messed up, but we still dominated. We still won every single round against the great ex-champion, and I'm just happy for this victory, and I'm just happy to keep pushing forward and keep dominating this light heavyweight division. Then did Ben Abidez goes to say, I definitely want to invoke my mandatory right. It's something for the past three years. It's rightfully mine. So like I said, this is a perfect opportunity for me to come up and win another interim belt, but I can still make 168 easily. So we're still looking to come back down to 168. The world wants David Benavidez versus Canelo Alvarez, but of course that's up to Canelo, which is why David Benavidez wants to go back down to 168. And yeah, he said he's seen a torn ligament, but here's the thing. I noticed that even at 175, yeah, he got power, but listen, it's a huge difference between 168 and 175. So we don't know if his power will translate to that size. But if he can make 168, I would advise him to go back down there because you can fight Canelo. This is what the fans want. And at some point, people are going to start putting pressure on Canelo to see this fight. Now, a lot of his fans have came at me and said that you know he'll beat david benavidez and he ain't no competition for him and listen i'm not picking david benavidez to necessarily beat canelo alvarez but let's see the fight and guaranteed guaranteed david benavidez will make at least 50 million and i can see canelo making anywhere between 70 to 80 come on now could you see could you imagine that fight being on cinco de mayo and I remember David Benavidez was Canelo's mandatory for years and years now. But the sanctioned bodies, they don't do anything because we all know Canelo's the money man. And they don't want Canelo to give up those belts because then they don't want to have to give up, get their sanctioning fees off his matches. So, I mean, it's really up to the sanctioning bodies to enforce this or get him to drop the belts. But we all know they're not going to do that. But, yeah, if I was David Benavidez, man, just go back down to 168, bro. Um... At some point, the fans, everybody's going to be calling for this fight. You might have to do what Jack Johnson did when he won this world title against Tommy Burns. You're going to have to be pulling up. You know, you're going to have to have it to where he has no choice. You need to be at the press conferences. You need to be at all the fights. Everywhere Canelo go, you need to be there. And trust me, trust me. At some point, the fans are going to demand this fight. But I just want to get my quick thoughts about it. Tell me what y'all think.